Um, welcome to the No Budget Garage. Uh, I'm Bart and today we're going to do something a little different. Uh, I know I told you on the last video we were going to mount the fuel tank, but um, I remembered what a death trap it was trying to get that out with my Harbor Freight floor jack. So um, I got to thinking this week and uh, what I want to do is I want to build a forklift attachment for my engine hoist. I got on the internet Try to see what was out there. I couldn't be the only one with this idea, right? So there's a couple of them out there. There's a YouTube video here or there. Um, I'm gonna build one with maybe some 24 inch forks um, and that I can adjust with just by throwing a come along on there and it'll pin on the end of the, end of the engine hoist. So uh, we're gonna build it out of scrap metal. Just stuff I have sitting around, I hope. Try not to use up any of my good steel stock. It's gotten a little expensive lately and I'm a sucker when I go to the metal yard to grab a rim or two. So I got some odds and ends kicking around here and, and that's what we're going to try to work with today. So uh, stay with us and we'll, uh, we'll see if we can't get this put together. So the mainframe of the, our fork, fork frame is going to be two, two by two by three sixteenths. Um, I got some scrap that's two and a half. Um, just a little over. It's not true receiver hitch for the forks to slide, uh, but it'll work just fine for what we're doing. And then the forks are gonna be two by inch and a half. So again, stuff I grabbed out of the rim pile at, uh, at the steel place. So let's get a few of these cut up. My chop saw blade is not not real happy after trying to cut that stainless exhaust. I'm going to be for a new blade here pretty soon. I'm thinking I might try the Diablo. I've seen a lot of guys online using them. They seem to be pretty happy. I do um, again shop space being confined mess is getting the way um, one of the things I do is I keep a bucket pretty close to the chop saw for any of the little trim ends that I know I'm not keeping for later for use I chuck them right in the scrap metal bucket when it's full it gets dumped uh, makes makes a big difference so this is gonna be our base of our main frame we'll allow our forks to slide I think we're gonna mount our forks underneath completely decided yet. Probably should have decided that before I cut them off. But, uh, and that'll allow our forks to slide in and out on that main frame. And then there'll be an upright. This isn't it. It'll allow us to pivot on the uh, on the cherry picker. And then we'll be able to hook to the top of it with a, right now we're going to have just a come along. And uh, I'll be able to keep this level or adjust it where I need it to be as we go. So uh, I'm going to Go ahead and shut the camera off here and get a few more things adjusted and we'll come back to it. All right, marked my plates um, with a center punch to drill for my pivot point. Again, just using some scrap metal I had laying around. Uh, we're gonna drill it out here in my in my drill press and get this thing mocked up. Sorry guys. Uh, for some reason, the GoPro stops recording. I'm not sure what's going on. I'll have to do a little bit of research tonight, but it keeps kicking out on me. I'm trying some new memory cards. Possibly what's going on, but we'll see. So it looks like the end of my cherry picker has a half inch bolt holding the hook on, so we're just gonna go just to a little bit oversized so this thing's easy to get on and off. So a half inch bolt fits through our ears no problem. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to contour my ears and prep this for welding on this side as soon as I put my drill bits away. Alright, 
was having some SD card issues there. Um, got my mounting ears drilled and ready to weld on. Um, we're going to bring the welder over here and see if we can't tack this thing together. I just watched an episode of Fireball Tools yesterday and he was talking about square tube T-joints and how when you make this weld it bows this. Um, for this project it's not that critical. I'm not going to go to the trouble of trying to clamp it down with a spacer and preload it. But uh, when we make that weld it's going to it's going to bow that a little bit as you can see with the slip tube that we're or the non-slip tube we're using it's going to be sloppy anyways and uh, we can make all those adjustments with our tilt. So uh, not shooting for perfect just trying to bang this thing out so we have something that we can use and and uh safely lift our fuel tank up inside the frame rails and i'm i got a hunch i'm already coming up with ideas i think i'm going to use this a lot this may get some modifications down the road but um i'm excited to have this uh just you know lifting heavy stuff by yourself can be a real challenge so, so ideally we would mock this up with a piece of two inch that's already got holes in it because this is going on a two inch frame out there, but we're gonna, we're gonna fake this because we're going to use the hydraulic press brake to bend this piece. eyeballing it. Let's see what we come up with. See if that gets us close enough to I'm going to be using it anyways. All right, so this is just my it's homemade engine hoist. A buddy of mine built it in high school. Um, I've had it since then. I was building my shop press at the same time that he was building the, the engine hoist. Um, yeah, we're gonna put this on here. We may have to make some modifications to this cylinder mount, lower it, the one that's on there's junk anyways. I'm gonna redo it, so this will be an excuse. So let's get this put on there and see what happens.
honestly, if this works out well, I have an, uh, an old electric winch that might end up on here. If this ends up being something I use more regularly. Right now I got it mocked up on my build table. Build table's probably close to 800 pounds. Lift the one in, no problem. This should work great for bumpers, fuel tanks, anything like that. So there it is, guys. Um, not gonna paint it got a lot of bugs i'm sure i'll work out but it's gonna work for uh what i set it up for uh scrap come along that i was just too lazy to throw away i'm really thinking that's gonna get electric winch and electric cylinder on it someday but i mean i really have like two hours worth of work into these forks and yeah i gave that time up of working on my project but that's a lifetime of uh, no sore backs right i'll use this thing forever i think from this engine hoist to something else it's uh it's pretty slick um, got the toolbox just a little roll around cart loaded right now it picks it up like nothing so yeah i think it's worth it um well there you have it guys a couple hours of shop time and some scrap metal Good tool we can use forever. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks for coming back. Look forward to your comments. And positive or negative, give them to me. I'll take them at this point in the game. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And this project, I guess, is just another example of never use a bowl. Well, we'll do. Thank you. Have a great week. God bless.